right folks so in this video what i wanted to cover is how you can fine tune a embedding model for a use case which is related to rag and maybe like you have a data set which is very specific uh, to a particular domain then what you can do is you can fine tune embedding model to understand that domain specific data so the embedding model will be get trained on that data set and maybe using that you will get much more better uh, accuracy when you are building a rag based system right so this is the data set which i picked up to run this experimentation which is a rag data set which is hosted in hugging face so you can see it has the que the context the question and the answer right so how i will train this embedding model is i will use the question along with the context so this context is probably the target variable that we will use to train this embedding model because uh, based on the question the mainly the embedding model models job is to pick up the correct context which is related to the, that particular question and using that context then the answer would be uh, formed or uh, as an inference result you will get back the answer right so we will train the embedding model using this question and context pair and then what we will do is we will evaluate the embedding model performance using the answer generated by using that particular embedding model and then we will evaluate the rag performance using the uh, rag matrices which are hosted in the uh, raga's uh, framework right so that is the plan what we will do so as i mentioned this is the data set which we will use so at first i will uh, show you the github repository so it has uh, Two notebooks which is like the first two notebooks then it has a few of the data sets which are like last two data set so one of them is like sampled 500 test underscore set right so this is kind of a sample data set on the test data and i have kind of picked up like 500 random examples to run this experimentation but while doing the fine tuning i will use the full training data set and then what we will do is we will produce this fine tuned rag eval score excel file where we will have the react performance matrices for each of these 500 rows right so what you can do is uh, before starting this uh, fine tuning you can get a baseline score using this sample 500 test set and then you perform the fine tuning and then you again evaluate the score using the fine tune model to see if there is uh, a performance improvement or not right so uh, let's get started with this so this is like the first notebook which is related to uh, the fine tuning of the embedding model so i have done that in the kaggle kernel but the notebook is available in the uh, github which i showed to you so first of all like few of the installations which are required so once the uh, required libraries are installed then i am initializing few of the keys which are related to like hugging face uh, read write token because once the model is trained we will push the model to the hugging face hub so that in future we can download that model and make inferences using that model and uh, then we have two keys one of them is open ai api key so that the uh, uh, performance of the rag data set that time we will use the ragas library so the, the ragas library will need a uh, uh, LLM so that LLM we will use the OpenAI model and this weights and bias API key is required to uh, track the model performance during the training process right so after that what I am doing here is I am loading the data set so you can see I am using this rag data cell uh, 12,000 so uh, that is the training data set which I am using then uh, doing some renaming of the column so that is uh, very much required to train an uh, embedding model using the sentence transformer library so sentence transformer library accepts your data set to have at least two columns one one of them is like a anchor which is nothing but a question and a positive response to that question which is nothing but uh, the context that is relevant to that question so we are making the context as a positive pair for this anchor and then what we are doing is we are dropping the answer because while training the embedding model we need only the anchor and the positive uh, column so the these two columns are very much essential if you want to train a embedding model so after that like uh, doing few of the uh, data cleaning stuff like dropping the null records and also converting that uh, pandas data frame to the uh, hugging face data set after doing the manipulations right 
so once uh, that is done you can see like it has uh, after dropping the null records it has like 9598 number of records and features are nothing but the positive column and also the anchor column right so the anchor column is nothing but the question and the co context we are treating as a positive pair to this anchor right so once that is done we are also loading the test data set which is the data set which i uh, i showed you in this uh, repo so the last data set is that sample 500 test data set so that we will use to monitor the performance on the evaluation data set so you can see like uh, the training data set has 9598 number of records and the test data set has 500 records so after that we will use an embedding model so this this is totally up to you which embedding model you can use for your use case so i have picked up this bg base english uh, version 1.5 embedding model so you can try any other embedding models according to your preference right so once that is loaded so what we will do is we will uh, import few of the required libraries or the required modules from the sentence transformer so one of them is like this multiple negative ranking loss so that is actually the loss function which we will use to while training this embedding model so if i go back to this documentation which is hosted in the sentence transformer so you can see like this is a, a good loss function if you have positive pairs so for example only pairs of similar text like pairs of paraphrases or pairs of duplicate questions pairs of query and response so that is what you need when you are using this multiple negative ranking loss so you need has written here uh, this loss function works great to train embedding models for retrieval steps where the positive pairs are present uh, in a batch for uh, creates few of the training arguments using the sentence transformer training arguments where i am mentioning where the model will be uh, downloaded uh, how many epochs i will run what is the number of uh, examples uh, which will be present in each of the batches so you can see like i have given 10 as a uh, per device train batch size because uh, don't want to go beyond 10 for this type of data set i have seen like if i increase the batch size greater than 10 then it goes out of the memory right so then few of the other uh, required things which are uh, required for this training the model and also the run name which will you can like log into the weights and biases portal and and find out this run name and see how the model is uh, getting trained and what is the loss how it is is done then i am creating this trainer where i am passing the model then the training arguments uh, the train data set and the eval data set and also the loss function which we have initialized previously so once that is done you can start your training process so this trainer.train will enable you to train this embedding model and you can see like uh, the training process will start and um, you can track the training loss and the validation loss right so you can see slowly the losses are getting decreased and 30 epochs so this is uh, the score on the uh, training data set and also the in the validation data set so after that what you can do is you can save this pre-trained model and you can push to the hugging face hub to upload this model as one of the models which is available uh, in your hugging face portal right so then later point of time you can use this model to make inferences right so for this step to enable this step like to push the model to the hugging face hub you need a token which has the read write access uh, availability to uh, write this model to the hugging face hub right so once uh, that is done what you can do is now you can start making inferences using this embedding model right you do the installations then what you can do is you can uh, initialize the open ai api key and then you can load the particular sampled test data set on which you will uh, perform the evaluation of this newly fine-tuned model right so is at first i will load this using pandas read csv then i will uh, create a langchain document out of it or a document loader which is nothing but a data frame loader so using that data frame loader i am uh, reading that pandas data frame and then what we will do is we will load using this 
loaded dot load and create this variable which is nothing but the list of uh, lang chain documents format right which is nothing but docs so after that uh, what we'll do is the regular rack stuff which we have been doing in this channel we will create a recursive text splitter then we will create the chunks so we can see like there are 500 chunks because uh, i have uh, kind of initialize the chunk size in such a way that for each of the documents we will have only one chunk right so after that what we will do is we will uh, load the embedding fine-tuned model so uh, you can then what i am doing is i'm initializing the embedding model and creating a chroma db where we will uh, create the embeddings for this uh, data set and we will load into the chroma db so once that is done i am initializing a llm so this llm uh, using this llm we will like uh, fetch the context from the vector db and then uh, make the inferences and uh, create the answers for this right for each of this 500 records so you can see like uh, i am creating a retriever chain so once the retriever chain is created i am creating few of the uh, list variables so one of them is like the questions which is uh, present in this test data set so this is to tackle the data the requirements for the raga's evaluation criteria right so raga's evaluation criteria needs the question and the context and the answer as a list format list of string format so that's why we are creating this variables which are like test QA, uh, the ground truth, and also after that, what I'm doing is I'm making an inference using this retrieval chain, and this retrieval chain will use the embedding model which was fine tuned previously using the other uh, notebook, right? So I am uh, fetching the answers using this retrieval chain, and also I am uh, getting the context using this newly. Uh, fine-tuned model right so what i'm doing is i'm doing retriever dot get relevant and then i am kind of creating a list of these documents to uh, calculate or the, to find out the context for each of these questions right so once that is done i'm creating a dictionary then i'm converting those that dictionary to a hugging face data set and then what we'll do is we will uh, make uh, we will create the raga's evaluation matrices which are like faithfulness answer relevance the context recall and the context precision right so once you initialize that then i am uh, mentioning what are the matrices that i will track track and then i am uh, calling this evaluate function where i will pass the data set the matrices and also you can like pass your uh, custom embedding models or the llm but uh, i have used the default values for this evaluation function then you can like calculate what are the scores uh, for each of the rows what is like uh, the context precision context recall faithfulness and answer relevance right and then you can like dump this uh, data set as a csv format so after that what you can do is you can compare uh, if there is a lift in all these four matrices using this fine tune model so for this particular data set i will uh, what i have seen that there is a slight bit of improvement but not much but again like this type of experiments are very specific to the data set you are using and also it depends on the number of parameters number of epochs how you train the model so like this is just an idea which i wanted to share with you like to give you an idea how you can fine tune embedding model for your uh, rag use case and then you can try out different models and see if there is any lift you are getting so let me know your uh, view on this if you do certain experiments on your data set and whether you are getting a lift or not after doing a fine tuning of the embedding model right so this is all i wanted to cover in this video thank you see you in the next video